So thank you for joining us, uh, Dr. Underwood. Uh, we just wanted your reaction to the news of the House panel starting the investigative subcommittee to probe allegations about the uh, current Guam delegate, Michael St. Nicholas. What's your understanding and reaction to this news today? Well, of course, it's a very disturbing news and uh, it means that the committee is taking this matter very seriously and uh, creating an investigative subcommittee for the special purpose. So I think that the delegate from Guam owes an explanation to the people of Guam as well as to the committee. Uh, we in Guam uh, need to appreciate that his reputation is our reputation in Washington, D.C. And uh, he hasn't been home, uh, as far as I know, he hasn't been home since the onset of the uh, coronavirus epidemic. He needs to come home and explain to the people of Guam and, uh, exactly what is going on so that he can be held accountable for his actions. And Dr. Underwood, we got a statement from the Congressman earlier today. He says, quote, this is just part of the process that we are required to go through in order to disprove the allegations made against us. He adds, telling KUAM that we will continue to cooperate and thank the people for their patience and support during this time. What's your reaction to his statement to KUAM? Is this really just a part of the process that they're required to go through? Uh, no, it's a, actually an escalation of the process. It actually means that the committee has taken it seriously and that there's the additional charge in there of uh, lying uh, to investigators. So it's not just what he did, what he's being accused of doing in violation of the rules and violation of the law for campaign uh, donation violations, but in lying to investigators about it. That adds up to a different set of circumstances. So this is a little bit more serious than perhaps uh, many of us thought in the past. But in any event, he doesn't, uh, he, of course he needs to interact with the investigative team, but it's not just part of the process. He's representing us. He is Guam in Washington, D.C. He needs to come home and he needs to explain to the people of Guam uh, what he did, what he's being accused of, and how he's going to respond. And are you aware of any moment in Guam's history, or even in the Marianas history, where this particular type of development has happened in the past? I know that uh, people have had ethical charges against them in the past, uh, but I don't know that they came this far. That's the issue. The issue is, I don't know that it has gone this far. And of course, the additional uh, circumstance here is uh, sort of an accusation of uh, uh, lying to investigators. That's a very serious uh, allegation. And Dr. Underwood, is there anything else you'd like to add about the matter and how this might affect Guam's future politically, especially in DC? Well, of course, it has a debilitating effect on our representation because he is the voice of Guam. He's the only voice of Guam in Washington, D.C. And whatever his reputation is, or whatever charges are against him, or whatever his behavior is, and all of, almost all the national stories about Delegate St. Nicholas center around this. They don't center around his advocacy for Guam. Almost all the national issues center around allegations of his misbehavior or his uh, absence in uh, congressional votes or uh, his spending habits uh, as a member of Congress. Uh, that's not a good sign. He needs to uh, be held accountable for those things and he needs to come home and explain it to us, not through statements, not through Facebook postings, but through live interaction. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Underwood. I appreciate your time. You're welcome.